Okay, let's see. Just looking at the camera here. Okay. Every day I wake up, I tell myself that I got a new chance at life. Hello, my name is Ken. I'm from Milwaukee. CEO for Serenity Ends, a substance use treatment program for men. I never thought I would be next in line to endure some of that pain that was caused or created um, by his drug use. As the disease progressed or as my use progressed over the years, I wasn't a great father to my kids. And, you know, I did some robberies and some other things that I'm not proud of. I lost my house, um, the car, the job. I attempted to get clean six, seven times. The one day clean turned into two day clean, so 30 days clean. And, you know, I'm getting hope every day of, Maybe I can do this, maybe I can make it. One of the guys in there said, Ken, you really did that group good. You should look into going to counseling. And I'm like, yeah, okay. One sec. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think so. I don't think people still today don't really understand that it's an illness and that everyone don't choose to be that way. When you lack the coping skills to deal with life as a whole, then you turn to whatever makes you feel good. A lot of individuals, a lot of people in the community that don't know how to cope with the trauma and the pain that they've been suffering with probably since the day they were born. What I'm seeing now in the community is more people are dying from the opioids epidemic. And so we can't turn a blind eye to say that it's not affecting us or it's not affecting our community because it is. I tell friends and family to support the individual. You don't just support the drug use, but support the individual. And it could be something real simple or subtle that can help them along the way just by saying a few words such as, I believe in you, making sure they have a hot meal, making sure they have a place to shower. Yeah. I'm sorry I got a little emotional, but. No, no, man, you're good, you're good. I always think about how individuals in substance use recovery can touch so many other people's lives. And I don't think people understand the magnitude of one person getting help and how that ripple effect starts to touch their family and how their family start to touch others. And so when I see that look in someone's eyes when they begin to find hope and believe that they can actually stay clean and change their mindset, it's a great feeling for me. Oh, I love, I love giving back. 